CDC guidelines for prescribing opioids for chronic pain in controlled substance reporting systems. Our objectives today are to discuss the opioid crisis history and prescribing trends within the United States, identify best practices for chronic pain management based on the CDC guideline for prescribing opioids for chronic pain, determine opioid initiation and continuation, determine opioid initiation and continuation, determine opioid dosage, titration and discontinuation, assess risk and incorporate risk reduction strategies and recognize controlled substance reporting systems. Sally is a 56-year-old woman diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mellitus, hypertension, anxiety, depression, and chronic pain. She is temporarily out of work due to an injury five months ago. She was initially prescribed oxycodone acetaminophen 5-325 milligram by mouth every six hours by her former primary care physician and referred to physical therapy. She reports previous success with her initial treatment plan that led to a decreased need for opioid therapy. However, two months ago, her employer decided to stop coverage for her physical therapy. As a result, her pain has worsened and she needs opioid therapy. <clears throat> 